The Beast gets an upgrade for Trump's inauguration. When he becomes President of the United States, Donald Trump will travel in an upgraded version of the Cadillac-branded limousine used by current President Barack Obama. According to Auto Week, the new presidential state car is expected to sport the looks of a Cadillac Escalade sedan. Known as Cadillac One, or by the Secret Service as The Beast, it will use a Kodiak medium-duty truck frame with custom-made body panels. The seven-seat interior is sealed to protect against a biological or chemical attack with windows that can withstand armor-piercing bullets. The current edition of the Beast has 20-centimeter thick, heavy armor-plated doors and a reinforced steel plate running underneath the vehicle to protect it from roadside bombs. The presidential limousine has tear gas cannons and a night vision camera, as well as a pump-action shotgun. Extra weapons, an oxygen supply, and bottles of the president's blood type are also on board. The fuel tank is armor-plated and encased in foam to prevent it from exploding. The Kevlar reinforced tires are puncture and shard resistant, with steel rims that allow the car to continue driving even if the tires are destroyed. The vehicle bears the American flag and the presidential standard while traveling domestically. When abroad, the presidential standard is replaced by that country's flag. The Beast will reveal its upgraded look on January 20th as it welcomes the 45th President Donald Trump at the 2017 inauguration. Here's a few more stories about presidents and their powerful toys. Russia developing robot to mimic enemy submarines. Vladimir Putin could soon have an ocean-going drone at his disposal that can mimic the characteristics of different submarines, making it useful for naval drills or spy missions. The surrogate, an autonomous unmanned submarine powered by lithium-ion batteries that can operate for 15 to 16 hours at a time, is being developed by a Russian military contractor. The drone measures more than 50 feet long and weighs almost 40 tons, with a maximum diving depth of almost 2,000 feet. It can employ towed sonar arrays to simulate another submarine's acoustic and electromagnetic fields and can imitate both conventional and nuclear submarines. The surrogate can also be used for underwater terrain mapping and reconnaissance. Military designers claim the drone is simple to operate with low maintenance and upgrade costs. They are currently in talks with the Russian Navy and believe there may be interest from foreign buyers. What is inside the U.S. President's nuclear football? The mysterious nuclear football that travels around with the U.S. President is about to be handed over to President-elect Donald Trump. The nuclear football, formerly known as the Presidential Emergency Satchel, contains four things. A folder of instructions for the emergency broadcast system, a black book listing a menu of strike options, another book listing secure shelters for the President, and a card with authentication codes for the President to confirm his identity. It also allows the President to communicate with the Pentagon from any location. The briefcase is hand-carried by one of five military aides who have passed a special security investigation. The vetting process, known as Yankee White, requires the aide to be a U.S. citizen and possess unquestionable loyalty to the country. The individual, his or her family, or anyone the individual is closely linked to must also be absolutely devoid of any foreign influence. The officer carrying the football must always be within reach of the president. If the president decides to deploy nuclear weapons, he must use a special code on the card to verify his identity, which has to be confirmed by the Secretary of Defense. The Black Book contains a menu of nuclear strike options, allowing the president to choose to eliminate all of the country's enemies at once or only target individual nations. Once orders have been verified, the military issues the attack. The military may not veto the president's decision. Trump will be able to use the nuclear football at his discretion starting Inauguration Day, which is the first day a military aide tasked with carrying the package will begin to accompany the new president. Can you imagine the North Korean attack on the U.S. mainland? A month after conducting their fourth nuclear test and just days after launching a long-range rocket, North Korea may now be looking to expand their plutonium production. U.S. intelligence officials believe Pyongyang has followed through on an earlier announcement to restart the plutonium production reactor in Yongbyon. The nuclear facility had resumed normal operations last September, after being shut down in 2007 as part of a disarmament for aid deal. 
The reactor has been operated long enough that the North could obtain plutonium from its spent fuel within weeks or months. Experts believe the Yongbyon reactor can produce about 4 kilograms of the radioactive material per year, which is enough to fuel a nuclear bomb. North Korea is also believed to be developing an intercontinental long-range ballistic missile system that could potentially strike the U.S. mainland. Pyongyang received condemnation for their recent rocket launch, which many see as a cover for a missile test. Do you think Kim Jong-un's DPRK poses a major security threat to the U.S.? Fire off with your thoughts in the comments below.